cataract surgery with implantation of the Bosch & Loam MI60L lens. This is one of my favorite lenses for my high myopes. It's also a fantastic lens for anybody getting a MIGS procedure just because of the way the haptics are oriented and its stability um, in the capsule itself. And so there we started with our one millimeter diamond blade. We're coming in with our 2.2 millimeter main incision wound right here. We're going to create this and then immediately puncture the anterior aspect of the capsule. This is how I start my rexus. Once that rexus is started, I go in with my micro utrata forceps. We're going to continue um, the creation of the rexus itself, trying to go 360 degrees and creating as nice of a circle as we possibly can freehanded. Upon completion of the rexus itself, we're then going to grab our chain cannula. In my younger patients, I like to um, kind of over dissect here and burp the lens slightly into the anterior chamber. And right there, you can see it pop right into the anterior chamber. And so I'm going to leave it just like that. I'm not going to push it back down in the capsule because with these younger patients, that cataract is pretty gummy and soft and it can be very difficult to actually break it up into quadrants. Um, so we're just going to leave it as one piece and I'm going to start um, the actual procedure on my quadrant removal setting. And so here you can see that we're just taking it out in the quadrant setting. I'm keeping it in the anterior chamber. I'm using a very low amount of um, FACO power to get this thing out. Once it is fully out, we're going to come back out. We're going to start. So now we're going to go back in to remove um, the residual cortical material. I use a metallic tip here. Goal is just giving a light amount of pressure and kind of a walking the dog strategy, just kind of leading that capsule around and loosening it everywhere and allowing the sections that want to come freely to come freely. And the areas that don't want to come freely, I always come back to um, by removing the rest of the capsule. It kind of loosens everything up and makes it relatively easy. So here that capsule is almost completely free here. Um, this is where it pays dividends in the beginning to completely hydro dissect and see a free rotation of the actual cataract itself. That helps kind of break up part of that capsular tension or grab. Here I'm doing a quick anterior edge polish and I keep that on my capsule settings. So now we're polished, we've got a good, nice opening. The complete cataract's been removed. We're reinflating with our cohesive viscoelastic provisc in this situation. And now you're gonna see me bring in the bliss injector by Bosch and Loam to put in this MI60L lens. This is not the classical injector you would use for this lens, but I um, have no problems using these. If you load up that lens nicely, it can very easily be pushed through without damaging the lens at all. So you don't need a special injector to make this happen. Um, this is the reason I love this lens. It's my little upside down turtle. It's got its four little arms or legs up in the air. Um, those haptics keep this lens beautifully centered and make it extremely stable. So that lens is now in. We're going to remove the rest of our viscoelastic. I like to take a little bit of time, make sure we got all this viscoelastic so we can avoid those post-operative day one ILP spikes. And here you can see us cleaning out the eye quite nicely. Um, I like to lift up the lens and try to remove all the viscoelastic from behind the lens, especially with these lenses where they do have those four little turtle legs sticking up into the air. It's easy to trap viscoelastic behind the lens. We're going to hydrate our main and para wound, and then I'm just going to tap the front of the eye very lightly. Here we're injecting a antibiotic at the same time, so our preservative-free Moxie. Tap the front of the eye to make sure it's nice and soft, and we're good. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video.